Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. Bernice knows that the special day is coming, but she can't remember if it is today or tomorrow. She checks her calendar and sees that she still has one more day. Bernice rushes downstairs and sees so much food and lots of toys and wonders what is going on. She asks Papa Bear, and he explains that they are going to share these things with others. Bernice loves the holiday season. Bernice woke up super early, jumped out of bed, and started towards the bathroom before she ran down the stairs. Then she stopped. Wait a minute, she thought. Is this the day, or is it the day before? She thought for a moment and then realized it wasn't the day. Wanting to make sure, she walked back into her bedroom and looked at the calendar on her wall. She had crossed out each day in December as they passed so that she could keep track of how many days until the day came. It was the day before. After washing up and brushing her teeth, she returned to her bedroom to get dressed. Today, she was going to wear her green clothes so that she would look like the tree in their living room. Papa Bear said he had some decorations that she could wear on her sweater, which Bernice thought was a lot of fun. Walking down the stairs to the kitchen, she said, Good morning, Papa. Something sure smells good this morning. Good morning, little evergreen tree. You certainly are up early this morning. Did you think today was the day? Papa Bear asked. Yeah, I did. I was super excited, but then I looked at my calendar and remembered that the day was tomorrow. What's for breakfast? Is all this delicious-looking food for me? And Papa, I don't usually get this many toys for Christmas. I'm making you some special pancakes today. Why don't you first look out the back door and watch all the beautiful snowflakes coming down? Can I go outside and try and catch them? Bernice asked. You certainly can. Your mama is already outside running and may be catching many, many snowflakes on her head. She might turn into a snow mama, Bernice laughed, as she went to get her boots and coat on. Remember to dress warm, Papa Bear yelled from the kitchen. Bernice played outside while Papa Bear made her some special pancakes for breakfast. After about 30 minutes, Bernice came back into the house. Walking into the kitchen, she said, Papa, I caught one snowflake in my hand. It just floated really slow down from the sky, and I caught it. That sounds great, little bear. It was fun, and the snow is really fluffy, but now I am super starving. It's good that you are hungry because I made way too many pancakes. They look really special too, Papa. What kind are they? Bernice said as she rushed to sit down. I put a bit of crushed candy cane in the batter and some fun sparkles on the outside. I hope they aren't too sweet. Can anything be too sweet, Papa? Bernice asked. Well... This is a special time of year, so we can have lots of treats that we might not normally have. You asked about all the food and toys in the kitchen earlier, Papa Bear said. Yeah, I don't think I can eat all that food, Papa, even if I called Bobby and Gertrude to help. (laughs) Well, that food isn't for us to eat. The toys aren't for us either. For the past few years at Christmas, your mama and I have been a bit like Santa's helpers. We 
We aren't moving to the North Pole, are we, Papa? I would miss Bobby and my friends, and though I like the snow, I like summer too. Don't worry, we aren't going anywhere. We don't just give each other gifts at Christmas, little bear. We also like to take this opportunity to try and make other bears' holiday seasons as happy as ours. So, we make meals for other families and give toys to some kids. Giving to others and seeing other kids smile like you makes Christmas much more special for Mama and me. Will you also give cookies, Papa? Because your cookies make everyone smile. Giving your cookies to people might make them happy too. Yes, little bear, we will give cookies. But I am going to need your help. Do you think you can help me? I will do my best, Papa. I am the bestest helper. Good. Mama and I will need your help putting all the cookies I baked into bags. Then, after lunch, we can all go and deliver the meals, toys, and cookies to those families who need them. That afternoon, Bernice, Papa Bear, and Mama Bear delivered meals, toys, and cookies to families who needed them. They had some cookies left over, so Bernice dropped off cookies at Bobby's house before heading home for dinner. As they walked up the stairs to get ready for bed, Bernice said, I really had fun today, Papa. I'm happy to hear that, little bear. It makes Mama Bear and I happy to be able to help others and to try and bring a little joy to others during the holidays. Is that what Christmas is about to you, Papa? Bernice asked as she went into her bedroom to get Ducky. As he went into the bathroom, Papa Bear said, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, Papa. Lots and lots of bubbles, please. Ducky wants to pretend she is skiing in the snow, Bernice said from her bedroom. Sitting in the bath, Bernice said, Look, Papa, Ducky can downhill ski. Ducky is doing great, Papa Bear said with a laugh. Thank you for helping today, little bear. This is a fun time of year for us, and we like to try and spread as much of the joy of Christmas as we can to others. Because they don't get to eat your cookies, Papa? That's part of it. Mama and I help those in need throughout the year, but especially at Christmas. And the best way we can do that this time of year is through food, toys, and cookies. I liked helping, Papa. That's great, little bear. We are all one community, so it's important we help each other as much as we can, the best way we can. Now, why don't you finish up your bath, brush your teeth, and get dressed for bed? Will you tell me a story tonight, Papa? Of course, little bear. Are your friends Twigga, Wolfie, and Madeline ready for a story? They said they are ready, but we are super excited about tomorrow morning, Papa. I am excited too, but we all need to get a good night's sleep so that we can have the best day, Papa Bear said with his usual big smile. During the story, close your eyes and take some deep breaths. The faster you sleep, the faster the morning will come. I love you, Papa. I love you too, little bear. Once upon a time, in a world full of magic and fun, there lived a brave little bear named Boo Boo. She lived in a large castle at the edge of a mystical forest. In this forest, there were unicorns, fairies, gnomes, and all manner of insects, birds, and animals. It was a wonderful place. 
Her best friend was a young dragon called Kai Kai, and they liked to play as much as they could. The kingdom they lived in was full of people who lived in the meadows, those who lived in the hills, and those that lived in the forest, and they all lived in harmony. On this day, Boo Boo was waiting for Kai Kai in the garden so that he could help with a project that she was working on. As was often the case, Kai Kai was a little late arriving. But just as she was about to go back inside the castle, Boo Boo saw Kai Kai's large silhouette looming in the distance. Arriving with a ground-shaking hump, Kai Kai said, Sorry I am a bit late this morning. I stopped to watch a group of unicorns having a race, and I guess I lost track of time. Who won the race? I don't think we have met this herd yet. Maybe we could go for a visit sometime. They were quite fast. I wonder if Bluebell has raced against them, Boo Boo thought aloud. Shrugging his huge shoulders, Kai Kai asked, What are we up to today? It's a bit early to visit friends, and we don't usually play until later. My father is delivering food to families in the far meadows. Their harvest was less bountiful this year. While they will likely be okay, father likes to make sure everyone in the part of the kingdom he leads has full bellies before the onset of the cold months. I thought you might be able to help us deliver food faster to those who have greater need. Kai Kai was shocked and said, I would be happy to help, but I am surprised that some in the kingdom have no food. How is this possible, Boo Boo? Since the discovery of the ancient fairy magic that lights our world, I thought everyone had something to eat. I know some have perhaps more food than others, or fancier food, but I haven't heard of anyone going hungry in a long time. We here who live near the castle are luckier than most, but it still happens, and we must help those in need. My father especially wants to share the joy he feels at this time of the year as we start a new grand cycle. Giving to others is how he celebrates. So we will deliver food, treats, and toys to those in need. Well, let's get started, Kai Kai said. For the rest of the day, Boo Boo would load up a large basket full of food, treats, and toys, and Kai Kai would carry them far off to the far meadows in a fraction of the time that it would take otherwise. On some of the trips, Boo Boo would join Kai Kai to help distribute the items in the basket and to see the relieved look on many people's faces and the smiles on others. At the end of the day, Boo Boo and Kai Kai rested in the garden, warming up with some hot tea. In all the time we have known each other, we have played, had adventures, and learned from Bixie. We had a lot of fun. Out of all that we have experienced together, what we did today was by far the most enjoyable. Thank you for asking me to join you, Boo Boo. Thank you for your help, Kai Kai. Helping others certainly is fun. Just then, the castle chef came out with a large basket full of sweet biscuits and more hot tea. You two look like you could use some treats after all the good you did today. What a perfect end to a perfect day, Kai Kai said. And with that, Papa Bear gave Bernice a kiss on the forehead, adjusted her blanket, turned off the lamp, and quietly whispered, I love you, little bear. 
Good night. And that is the end of our story. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>